Hey everybody, Dr. Greg here. So, uh, last week I launched a video on how to VR Cyberpunk 2077 with Luke Ross's uh, real VR mod. And uh, it's got great response. We had a lot of people that are, you know, commenting and asking questions. There are a couple little things that we're going to go over that I didn't really think about when I was doing that, but these are these are things uh, problems that people are having. We're going to talk about a bug with the NVIDIA drivers. If you happen to have an NVIDIA card that's capping the game at 60 FPS, uh, and then we're going to uh, go ahead and we're going to uh, talk about how to adjust the HUD sizes so that you you know can get a you can see the HUD and everything when you're playing the game when you're aiming and all that kind of stuff using Luke's mod. Uh, so hey, well, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to go into a menu. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. It can be this one or the other menu screen. It doesn't matter. And what you do is you hit both triggers on your on your gamepad. And that'll bring up your uh, dealy bopper here, the, the overlay for Luke's, Luke's mod. Now, if you go down, all you use is your directional pad to move things. First of all, every time you start the game, if you want to record video capture, you need to come down here to OBS and, and, and hit a, uh, a on that. And then you'll have to check this box right there. And that allows you to record, uh, on your vid on your, uh, OBS. All right. So if you go up here and you look, on uh right well right above where i just highlighted there see where it says game frames per second now mine says uh latency at 80.1 right now um and then like it's bouncing around back there 92 vr resolution there's my resolution i set the settings at um so anyway then uh if, if you notice that this is dropping down like if it's capped uh, where it says 80 frames per second or 80.1 if it says 60 there it's capped and it's that weird Nvidia thing so so what you do is you go to your Nvidia control panel which is what this is here and you drop down and you look right here where it says vertical sync if that says on or anything else make sure that it's off you click that to off now Luke's new mod will actually take gets rid of uh, or forces this off automatically the new version of the mod but in case you're in his uh, or not on his patron right now and uh, you can't get on there to get the new version of the mod this is where you take care of that problem and then when you come back into the game this should this this latency down here should be at, at 80 now and not not uh, 60 so that'll take care of that problem <clears throat> another thing that people are having problems with is the huds you take care of that right here too. Um, this is your normal HUD size. Uh, you just go ahead and hit A so that you can get in there and then you can change, see how it makes my menu bigger and smaller. Uh, so this is about normal right in through here, I think, where the game's usually set, that's fine. Uh, HUD distance, this, this kind of messes around with things. It really messes with my eyes when I change it, so. I'm pretty good right there. You can just play with these however you want. This is the one that really matters as far as I'm concerned. This is the, the aiming HUD size. Um, I don't know if you can see it, uh, but okay. So now I have a gun. So it's not so bad actually when you use this first person mod because it drops the gun down a little bit but if you don't have the the the, the uh is it better for immersive first person? i don't remember which one i have it's in my video so you can check that out the video before this um what it does is it, it drops the gun down a little bit so it's not like it's coming out of your cheek because that's really weird but as you can see you know when you when you pull the trigger up it'll extend the gun away so you can look down the sights. so that's good um but notice how I can how you can see the HUD. That if you don't have the HUD all the way to the left, the aiming HUD, it's really difficult to see the the uh, like the map and all the other stuff on there when this is up. And what that does is that brings it in so that you can see it. Um, so that, that's that's how you that's how you adjust the HUDs. I know people were having some issues with that. Um, another thing that you can do. See, I have that, that one all the way over to the left, the aiming HUD. Uh, so, to get the reshade working, 
or the other things that you can do to, to mess with the guns a little bit is you hold X down and it'll bring to up this button here. Now, I don't know why, but you have to use the the, uh, the left, was it R, no, R, it's the trigger, it's the one, it's the bumper, the, the left bumper, and that moves this up. So to work with reshade, you just go ahead and go in through there. And then see, I have ultra enhanced reshade uh, up there on the top. Uh, right there so you can see where that's so that that that's how you can set the reshade um the ultra enhanced reshade that i have on uh let's go ahead and hold x down again uh and if you go up to this one the cyberpunk 2077 this is where you can tweak the camera offset for aiming right down in through here so that'll change the guns a little bit uh, you can tweak it for, for driving your car, you can tweak the camera for aiming here in the zoom range in your pistols. Um, so these are all kinds of things that you can just play with. I really haven't messed with these too much. I'm perfectly happy with where they're at. But if you want to change things, this is where you, this is where you change them. Um, something I do do, uh, let's see where is it at here. Oh, there it is. All right, so I go up here, and I get I, I uncheck this box right here. This is using the 3D map for your uh, and your 3D character creation stuff. I don't like it, um, for because when you use that, here, let's see if we can get out of here. So you can see I use the 2D map, and the reason is is I can zoom in and out really nice. I can see where everything's at. Um, and I can see all of the stuff on the outside, like all of these jobs over here that I have listed, all the menus. 3D map, I couldn't see any of that stuff. Um, so and it just it just works. I really feel like since this UI was designed to be 2D, this actually works better in 2D. You look on here, I added in this mod. Anywhere you see these little things where it says fat, that's actual Metro stuff. So. Uh, you can get on the monorail that you see, you know, driving or flying around the city up there on the on the rails, and it'll take you to all these places. It's pretty cool. You can just ride around in the city. I like that. Another thing that I did was I put in real vendors. So I don't know if you have to actually be to the vendors or not, but I think you do. I think you have to go there first. But for like right now, this will tell me. See right there, that's Vic's clinic. So now I know that that's Vic. I know that this guy right here is fingers and um, it, ju it just helps you anybody that you've met where there's actual people dr. chrome is right there so you get you actually know who they are Cassius is right there uh, and that's nice okay so that's it I know this is a short one just a couple little things that I wanted to go over another quick point um, first of all like where it's mine said 80 frames per se second remember i have the an i9 10 900k a 2080 super with 32 gigs of ram so you might not be able to reach those 80 frames per second if you're if you're lower than that card wise it just kind of depends on your system um, i'm just trying to help you get as high as you can frame wise uh another thing if you notice sometimes in the game when you're playing and it seems like the frames are starting to skip and lag a lot uh, if that starts to happen, really the best thing to do, and I find that's with almost any game where I'm using Luke Ross's mod, just save the game, quit out of it completely, and then restart the game, and then things are usually smooth as silk. It doesn't happen all the time. It just happens every now and again for whatever reason. I don't know what that is. So, uh, yeah, those are really the big things that I could think of. So hopefully this helps if you guys have been having any of these issues. Hey, make sure you hit like and subscribe and click on that little bell thingy and all that stuff. Comment on the video. Ask me any questions you have. Uh, if there's anything more that we need to go over with this, uh, troubleshooting-wise, I am more than happy to make more videos. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Dr. Greg, out.